buying PO2, says she's protesting on the streets of Yangon since day one of the military coup. One of the country's best-known actresses, Tu and her film director husband, Naji, have been vocally and financially supporting the civil disobedience movement. On Wednesday, the military put Naji on a list of celebrities to be arrested for encouraging opposition of the coup. He disgraced the military. That's what he's been charged for. So how did that feel when you realised that your husband's name was, was on the arrest list? Not at all. Take your time. I'm just so angry and just so emotional because it's, it's not fair, you know. People who are doing the good things, they keep they keep being arrested. They just uh, keep arresting the people who are doing good. The couple have fled their home and are in hiding. Pots and pans they once used to join in the daily evening protest now have a different purpose. We have to make sure that we have pots and pans on our nightstand. So if somebody come and do something wrong to us, we ask the help from the neighbors just by banging the pots and pans because obviously that's the only weapon that our civilians have. They don't feel safe on the streets anymore, but are adamant that this is not the end of their fight for democracy. This is our last battle. We have to win this. So we have to do everything we can to reach out to the world and to everyone. And we must win this time. The arrests come at night when the internet is shut down and soldiers knock on the door. The military came for Mia A at dawn on February 1st, according to his daughter. The family have heard nothing since. A student leader in the failed 1988 uprising, he spent a total of 13 years behind bars. We don't want to live in another dictatorship again. And, you know, seeing uh, another generation of children having to meet their parents in jail is not uh, something that we want, to, we want people to go through. Wainin was just five months old when her father was first arrested. She says her mother taught her to say daddy from a photograph. Her father told her he had a backpack by the door with clothes, a toothbrush and medication. He had a quadruple bypass two years ago and needs daily medicine. Still critical of the military, he knew he might need this bag in a hurry. As Myanmar's military leadership continues a systematic silencing of voices of dissent, it strikes fear into those on the streets, wondering.